in faith, Gratiano. You give your wife too unkind a cause for grief, and twere to me, I should be mad at it. <laughs> well, I would best cut my left hand off and swear I lost the ring defending it. My <laughs> lord Bassanio gave his ring away unto the judge who begged it, and indeed deserved it too. And then the boy, his clerk, who took some pains in writing, <laughs> he begged mine. And neither man nor master would take all but the two rings. What ring gave you, my lord? Not that I hope which you received of me. Why? <laughs> <coughs> 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 a lie unto a fault, I would deny it. But you see my finger hath not the ring upon it. It is gone. <laughs> Be even so false is your false heart of truth. By heaven, I'll ne'er lay in your bed till I see the ring. Nor I in yours till I empty mine. <laughs> Sweet Portia, if you did know to whom I gave the ring, which if you could <laughs> know for whom I gave the ring, if you had known, and would conceive for what I gave the ring, if you had known, and how or <laughs> willingly <laughs> I left the ring, if you had known, <laughs> send it after him. I was beset with shame, courtesy. My honour would not let ingratitude so much besmear it. <clears throat> Pardon me, good lady. And by the blessed candles of the night, had you been there, I think you would beg the ring of me to give the worthy doctor. Ah, oh, let not that doctor e'er come near my house, since he hath got the jewel that I love, the witch that you did swear to keep for me. I will become as liberal as you. I'll not deny him anything I have. No, not my body, nor my husband's bed. Lie not a night from home. Watch me like Argos. If you do not, if I be left alone, Know him I shall, I'll be well sure of it. Now, by my honour, as this is yet mine own, I'll have the doctor for my bedfellow. And I, his clock. <laughs> Therefore be well advised how you to lead me to my own protection. Well, do you so? Let me not take him then, for if I do, I'll mar the young clerk's pen. I <laughs> am the unhappy subject of this quarrel. Oh, sir, grieve not you. You are welcome, notwithstanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies. Uh, the Portia. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me this enforced wrong. And in the hearing of these 
many friends. But I swear to thee, even by thine own fair eyes, wherein I see myself, And there's a note of credit. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, but hear me. Pardon me this fault. And by my soul, I swear I never more will break an oath of thee. I once did lend my body for thy wealth, which but for him that has your husband's ring had quite miscarried. I dare be bound again, my soul upon the forfeit that your lord will never more break faith advisedly. Then you may be his surety. Bid him keep it better than the other. Here, my lord Bassanio, swear to keep this ring. <laughs> By heaven! It is the same I gave the doc, sir. I Pardon, Bassanio, I had it of him. <coughs> For by this ring, the doctor lay with me. <laughs> <laughs> and pardon me, my gentle Gracciano. For that same scrub boy, the doctor's clock, in lieu of this, last night did lie with me. What are we cuckolds ere we have deserved it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, be not so amazed. Speak not so greatly. You are all amazed. Here is a letter. Read it at your leisure. It comes from Padua, from Bellaro, and there you shall find that Portia was the doctor! There is a letter Soon, and there you shall find that three of your argosies are richly come to harbour suddenly. <laughs> Do not ask me by that strange accident I chance upon your letter. I am <laughs> dumb. <coughs> Were you the doctor, and I knew you not? Were you the Laugh, is to make me cuckold? Aye, but the cock that never means to do it, unless he live until he be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet doctor, you shall be my bedfellow. When I'm absent, then lie with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet lady, you have given me life and living. For here I read for certain that my <coughs> ships are safely come to Rhodes. <laughs> oh, and Lorenzo, I have compass yet in store for thee. Oh, yes. I and I'll give. Aye, and I'll give them him without a fee. Do I give to you and Jessica, from the rich Jew, a special deed of gift, after her death, of all she dies possessed of? Fair ladies, <coughs> you draw manner in the way of starved people! Oh, I am, um, it is almost morning, and I am <laughs> sure you are not satisfied yet by these events at full. Let us go in. And charge us there upon interrogatories, and we will answer all things faithfully. Let it be so. Um, the first interrogatory that my Larissa shall be sworn on is whether till the next night she had rather stay, or go to bed now, <laughs> <laughs> two hours till day. <laughs> but were the day come, I should wish it dark till I were couching with a doctor's clerk. <laughs> <laughs> well, while I live, I'll fear no other thing so sore as keeping safe 
Narissa's ring. <laughs> <laughs> the human kindness in all humankind, that it is good to prop the friend who falls, and building bridges wiser far than walls. Human beings are strongly bound together, one species and one family forever. Will had his reasons when he wrote this play. Could he have known the audience in his own day were tainted with a poisonous drop of hate? Could he have wanted, before it was too late, to break that darkness with a beam of light and hold, indeed, the mirror up to life? If you disagree, that's fine. I'm not bitter. Just check tonight what's trending out on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and if you enjoyed the show, drop us a tweet. If not, well, thank you for staying in your seat. <laughs> but enough of this. <laughs> We now shall hold our peace. It's time for the party.